when this project was brought to us uh, and we were brought on board, um, we were trying to establish a look of it. And so we tried to like explore different avenues. Um, ultimately, we ended up going with the hyper realism to like really tell the story. And for it being a stop motion film, like even though as realistic as you go, it's still not quite there. So that was a really a cool look in itself. The first challenge on it was to try to give this this a stop motion film kind of a realistic look or kind of a, like a more live action look so the audience would kind of get sucked into these characters so that was a challenge in itself because of the scale and trying to get you know we were able to kind of create a certain mood but we need we knew we needed to get lights onto the set and the key lights and back lights and edge lights that would kind of give those faces texture and eye lights and stuff like that so we ended up building some smaller lights that would kind of end up acting as you know our lights that we would be able to pull into set get that so once we were once we created those lights and made those then it was just a matter of to kind of keep evolving on that you know, as the camera would move, if something went wrong or the camera would sag, we'd have to come in in the morning and fix it and, and make sure, because it's all one shot. So if we didn't fix it properly, then it would look like there was an earthquake or, you know, somehow the power went out or something, because everything is so exaggerated in miniatures. Okay. So that was, that was very challenging. And fitting the camera into sets and into rooms and through doors, and because the camera's bigger than the door, we'd have to pull set pieces off and you pull a set piece off some of the light that was bouncing on that wall ends up not being there anymore so then we would have to it was the middle of the shot so you can't stop and start over because that would you know put somebody months behind so we'd have to add little bounce boards in and okay now that looks good but now it's in the animator's way so as he's doing the next one second of animation he's moving our flag frame by frame out of the way so there's a lot of subtle kind of things like that as the camera is moving through absolutely this room. there's a lot more animated in this film than just the characters yeah. like we would have to animate sets and flags moving in and out and lighting moving in and out of the camera um, to kind of create like that mood and that feel of the film that you saw With any stop motion film where, uh, that we'd, we'd build miniatures with, um, you can't just go out and purchase a lot of these set pieces. So all these pieces have to be customly built. Um, everything from uh, a, a car seat to like a bed to a little miniature glass, like all that had to be done. So we found ways to like create little miniature like glassware. Glassware is one of the hardest things to find in stop motion. Uh, there's no miniature glass blowers out there <laughs> helping us out, so we'll have to find ways to make it work and make it look as realistic as possible. So, so miniature was was hard I, um, for this film, um, creating the the glasswares and and things that they interact with. 